I know what we're gonna do today Though it might sound just a bit cliche We can build a roller coaster But this time with songs and dancing Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most underrated Phineas and Ferb songs. For this list, we'll be looking at the best songs on the Disney animated series that didn't quite get the hype they deserved. These are underrated tunes, so keep in mind that if your favorite one isn't here, it's likely in our top 10 best Phineas and Ferb songs video. Before we get started, let us know what your favorite number from Phineas and Ferb is in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Frenemies. I think we have to take it up a notch. Talk about a performance. In this episode, Buford and Baljeet put on a show for retirees in order to keep them entertained while they wait for their latkes. We look good in hats, long tails and spats. When we hit the town together, baby, we know where it's at. Buford and Baljeet obviously have a somewhat unique relationship dynamic throughout the series, but this song explains it perfectly. They're not friends or enemies, they're frenemies. Because we're frenemies, we like disliking one another. Yes, we're frenemies, he's like my least favorite brother. While in the beginning, Buford starts off pushing nearly everyone around, including Phineas, he later becomes a core member of their friend group. Baljeet and Buford's relationship develops past mere antagonism into a real friendship of sorts. They fight a little like an old married couple, which makes them one of the more hilarious duos on the show. You and I, we're not enemies or friends, we're just Number 9. Ducky Momo is my friend. Why must it be so hard for a lifelong closet Ducky Momo fan to go to a science fiction and fantasy convention and find cool, rare Ducky Momo collectibles without anybody discovering her dark, humiliating secret? We've all had something from our childhood we had a difficult time letting go of, and this song is a perfect representation of this feeling. I was small, the world was such a strange place. And that was all until I saw his strange face quacking in slow mo. Ducky Momo is a comfort character for Candace and has been since she was little. In order to sneak into a sci fi and fantasy convention where he'll appear, the episode sees her cosplaying as him. All the lessons that he's taught me brought me luck. Now, when life throws it, I know how to do She's pretty embarrassed as a teenager who still likes something that's intended for children. But in the end, she comes to terms with it and reveals herself as the person in the costume. It's a very sweet tune, and honestly, something most of us Phineas and Ferb fans can probably relate to. But Ducky Momo's still my friend. Ducky Momo is my friend. Ducky Momo is my friend. Number 8. Hey Ferb. You know, Ferb, one of the best times we ever had was when we built that roller coaster. We should do it again, but this time as a musical. I know what we're gonna do today, but in song. This is an awesome show tune that pretty much encompasses the series' whole premise in song form. I know what we're gonna do today, though it might sound just a bit cliche. We can build a roller coaster, but this time with songs and dancing. It recreates the very first scene in the series and references a ton of legendary musicals, including Cats, West Side Story, and Les Miserables. This Broadway-style song kicks off the start of one epic musical adaptation episode. 
featuring numbers sung by the whole cast. It's no secret that this show seizes every possible opportunity to make fun of itself, and this episode has to be the very culmination of it. It's all just so meta. Number 7. We're back. Hey everyone, we're back. We're back. In our own backyard, we're gonna make the most of every day. This is a 2020 song that was released as a promo for the Disney Plus film Candace Against the Universe, but we just couldn't leave it off the list. It's an absolute banger. It feels so good to be where we belong. I guess that's the main bullet point of this little song. We're tuned up and right on track. Baby, we're back. They really didn't have to go that hard, but Dan and Swampy never do disappoint. It features vocals from Phineas, Candace, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, and David Irigo Jr.'s Ferb, letting the audience know where they're at so everyone can be all caught up for Candace Against the Universe. I work so hard, I plan and follow through, but my mouth will never seize anything that they do. This time I'm gonna launch a counterattack. Maybe I'm back. Maybe we're back. It's definitely a little emotional seeing all the characters together after so many years. We missed you guys. Maybe we're back. Maybe we're back. Baby, we're back. Number six, Happy New Year. You know it hasn't been bad, more happy than sad, but I tell you I'm glad when I think about starting all over again. This is such a feel-good number. Legend says that if you played at midnight on New Year's Eve, you'll have good luck for the rest of the year. Okay, so maybe we made that up, but this song will start your new year off on the right foot for sure. Cause you know it's a new year, it's a brand It's not exactly unknown that Olivia Olsen has a stunning voice, but it's certainly worth mentioning again. It's always a treat to hear Vanessa sing, and although we don't actually see her in this tune, we do get to see almost every other character celebrating the new year. Number 5. Happy Evil Love Song Love was once a crazy dream Now it's my new evil scheme This is the cutest little ukulele love ballad. Dr. Doof has tried to find love a few times over the course of the show, and it never does quite work out. But honestly, we're still pretty bummed out about this one. It's the age-old story how an evil boy meets an evil girl We got a love strong enough to rule the whole wide world this woman and Heinz actually really seem to hit it off. They bond over their evilness and robot armies, and it's one of the first times we see Dr. D genuinely happy. We both maniacally laugh at all the same stuff. You can't afford a plan that's built upon evil love. In fact, he actually says he's never been so happy in his life, which is why we feel his despair right along with him when his own invention is what ruins this for him. Poor guy. I have never been so happy in my entire life. Oh, honey. I feel nothing. Number four, curtain call, time spent together. Summer is done, and we had our fun. But this isn't the end of our story. This song is sort of like a two-in-one, so score. It concludes the series with a slower piece that remembers the whole message of the show. It's not about summer, it's about making the most of every day with the people you love. It's just about the time we spend With our family and with our friends It's just about the time spent together Once the sappy stuff is out of the way, we kick into high gear and Phineas takes over. It started real simple with a cool roller coaster, an awesome beach party, then we raced our cars. He recaps the entire series with contributions from the rest of the main characters and thanks the fans for coming along on their very long summer adventure. Talk about going out with a bang. There's been 104 days of summer vacation. We've had a lot of fun and sung a lot of songs. So now it's time for a big celebration because it's been a great summer and we thank you for coming along. Thank you all for coming along. Number three, you're going down. I'm gonna tell mom, and when she sees what you are doing, you are going down! From Hey Ferb, we go nearly straight into the second and most fun song of the episode, You're Going Down. You're going down, you're going down when I get 
your mom to see this ridiculous monstrosity. It replicates probably the most iconic scene in the whole series, Phineas and Ferb building while Candace is on the phone. You know the one, with the wagon and the lion. When Candace finally sees what they're doing, her You're Going Down line cues this awesome musical number. I could say more, but I don't wanna boast. Backed up by Stacy and Jenny, Candace gets what feels like her own doo-wop version of a busted theme song. With 60s style outfits and Ashley Tisdale's musical theater talents put to use, it's crazy that this one isn't more recognized. Number 2, Robot Riot. Phineas, anything we can do? Yeah, musical accompaniment. <laughs> This is one of the lesser remembered songs from Love Handle, but it's still an absolute bop, especially if you're a fan of hard rock. It's the perfect battle anthem for the kids and Perry working together to defeat Second Dimension Doof's robots. In this awesome scene, the kids use every invention from the series until that point to fight against the robot army, which really brings things full circle. The fact that Agent P has the blueprints for the boys' inventions is so heartwarming. It's sort of like he's been there with them all along, even when he disappears every day to fight evil. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. My Undead Mummy. All the kids at school are gonna have a conniption when they get a load of my funky Egyptian MC. My Undead Mummy and me. Yeah. Dance Baby. Dancing in the Sunshine. Hair blows in the summer breeze. Dancing in the sunshine. I'm grooving with some retirees. Cartoon bandage on my knee. Ready for the Bettys. Going to a Betty Bet. Get ready for the Bettys. Ready for the Bettys. Get ready for the Bettys. Rebel, let's go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. My Cruisin' Sweet Ride you're gonna love. This song. Doo-wops are always spectacular, and this one is no exception. Even if it was more popular, it would still be underrated in our eyes. A simple push of a button changes the pattern and the hue on your sweet ride. My sweet ride. Inspired by songs from the 50s, this doo-wop features vocals from quite a few characters, all on their way to the doo-wop hop. If you're a fan of the movie Grease, then there's a good chance you'll fall in love with this episode too. From the clothing, to the references, to the music, it's good vibes all around. Look, the visor's a vanity! And the glove box has real hands. Chew up, chew up. It steers itself, there's a trophy shelf, and it opens up your cans. Plus, this is one of the only episodes where Candace doesn't try to bust her brothers, which is a fun change in pace. We told you, good vibes all around. That's the magic of doo-wop. Let's deploy the shoots, Ferb. There's romance in the air. There's nothing I'd rather do than take a moonlight drive with you in your sweet ride. My sweet ride. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.